What's up, YouTube? It's your boy DR2727. And shout out to all my Transformers collectors, whatever you collect. And this is a part two is a I, I told you so about the X Transbots future, the trailer, and specifically with the trailer. And if you see, it's going crazy with what they are charging for this gravestone trailer. And on top of that, you have to buy this second piece. And it's, they got you bent over a barrel because if you started this collection and you've gotten it to this point, you got to finish and get the combined mold. But to pay $230 for one piece, to pay $74 for the accessory pack. And how much is the gravestone? Um, it was $120 or $130, right? We'll say $120. That is, let me do my counter real quick. $75 plus $230 is $305 plus $120 is... What four forty five? So you're paying around four fifty for just motor mouse. Everything you need to combine in motor mouse. And again, S Transbots doesn't make a good a good enough product to justify that price. For that price, you could go DX nine. You can go fans toys. You can go to better because S Transbots kind of was that middle layer group in MP collecting. They were better than Takara, but not as good as the Make Toys, Fans Toys, Unique Toys slash DX nine or MHC group. And their prices kind of reflected that. But now that they're jacking up the price, I want to ask a question, two questions to you guys. One, will you be going in on this? I kind of know the answer, but if you're in on this, will you finish it up? And two, is this the beginning of the end of X Transpots? So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Just meant to be real quick. Last thought, there's a saying, if I'm happy with the product, then I'm happy with the price. If I'm not happy with the product, then I'm not happy with the price. I got that from Bobby Skullface. And by and large, with this transpots, I'm not happy with the product. So for them to jack up the price, hell no, for me personally. But just wanted to end on that note.